in the sunshine. Time. Welcome to another episode of When We Were Young, where I'm very glad that I've got a very special guest who perhaps can really teach me how to play this dance <laughs> you know. But I'm sure you'll love him. He is a maestro at the keyboard and he's someone who's into music for many, many years. So please, join me as we open the door to my very special guest in just a while. Stephen Francis was born in 1961 to Mother Grace, a housewife and father, Theodorette, a police officer. At the young age of five, Stephen sings along with his father's records of Solomon King and Jackson Five. And that's how he develops a liking to music and songs. He soon picks up playing the drums on the drum set that belonged to his brother Benson. And by the time he turns eight, he was already a proficient drummer and subsequently picked up the guitar and keyboard as well. At 11 years old, Stephen, now a talented singer and musician, joins his siblings, 22-year-old Ambrose, a keyboardist, and 14-year-old Irene, a vocalist, to form the band Ammo. The band also included Eddie Jensen on bass and Hamid Harara on drums. They were dubbed as the Jackson Five of Singapore, because the way they were dressed followed the American band closely. But a year later, the band broke up as Ambrose decided to set up his own business in horse racing. But Stephen will continue his pursuit in music on his own. In 1972, he drops out of school to dedicate himself to music. His brother Benson then invited him to join another local band, Thunderstorm, as they needed a singer for the nine-month-long Japan tour, where they performed live in clubs in Osaka, Tokyo and Yokohama. Upon his return to Singapore, he had gained national recognition as a musical prodigy. He was invited to join many bands and he would perform with stars like Sunny Bala and the Moonglows. He was then specially invited to go on tour with local pop legend Anita Sarawak as her backing band, Singapore Swing. After six years, Stephen wanted a more personal approach to music. So he formed his own band, Silk, with his sister Irene and some friends. Stephen felt that Silk would help him bond with his sister. But the band ended up being one of the top bands in Singapore as well. At the height of his career, Stephen would also produce albums for Taiwanese celebrities such as Chi Yi. Sarah Chen times when you told me be patient just wait a while and Paula Ma in recent years Stephen decided to shift his energy towards the culinary arts he opened a dim sum restaurant in 2018 and a chicha stall in 2020. In order to fully commit to his new job, he is now taking time off from his pursuits in music. But 
as the saying goes, music never dies. So in his free time, he's still composing songs for his new album. You know, I'm sure you agree with me that to every musician, music will always be their first love. And my guest today is one person who really loves his music so much. I'm going to let you meet him now in person, Stephen Francis. Hi, Linda. How are you doing? You're such a you natural. look great. Oh my God, you too. Thank you, love. Have a seat. Shall we go to the beach or what? Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you love this I, I cup love of I, mine? I, I, I love it. Mm, it nice. came from Hawaii, oh, apparently. Yeah. Oh, really? So it's genuine. Wow. The only thing that we do not have our bikinis and swimsuits <laughs> and what have you. Otherwise, we can always go surfing. It's a family show, so no, no bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, Stephen, you know, you have been in music for so, so many years, you know, yeah. ever since you're very young, you know. I can't imagine, you know, when boys at your age are about 10 or 11 years old, they want to play things like marbles those <laughs> days, not computer games, of course, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. But you were so much into music, you know. Yeah, yeah how did you get into music in the first place? It's a family affair, you know, like just my brothers and, you know, and my sister and, of course, my father, you know, always uh, encouraging my brothers to play music and they do jamming in the house and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I was young and, y you know, then just, I say, uh, uh, I think I, I think this is what I'm going to be and, and what I'm going to do. Oh, you know, so that the, was your ambition. Yeah, am I the right? influence is very strong there. Oh, know. I see. But during that time, you know, who were the people whom you listened to? Any favorite artists? Uh, actually, it was the Jackson Five a lot. Ah. <laughs> yeah, Donny Osman, the Osman Brothers. Then came Donny Marie. You know, of course, my favorite of all, is Stevie Wonder. I see. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, talking about Donny and Marie and Jackson yes. Five, I think your family members, meaning like your sister, your brother, Ambrose, yeah. and then you, yeah. Yeah, your my gang sister, up, Irene. Yeah, Irene, yeah. yeah. You also all have like got together that's and right. formed your own little Jackson 5 <laughs> group, <laughs> am I right? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. We were known as a Singapore Jackson 5 mm. back in those days. Yeah, that's yeah, right. But, but, what was, but what was performing like in those days? Did you enjoy wow. doing it? enjoyed it so much because the appreciation is, is so different from today what, what it was you, you know back then T today's appreciation is okay like oh okay i've seen that done that you know <laughs> <laughs> really yeah. but mm -hmm. those days like wow you know we, we would perform in national theater uh, you, you know the, the old mm -hmm. clemens hill avenue there the national mm -hmm. theater you know, when we perform there, people go screaming and everything like that. It's like how you see it in the 60s, yeah, <laughs> you know, okay. with the Beatles coming out and all that. Mm -hmm. Back in those days, we were like that. Mm -hmm. But how do the members of your family get together? I Meaning like Irene, Ambrose, yourself, yeah. you know? Actually, Ambrose is the one that, you know, got us out, you know, and uh, because he had a contract at Tropicana, you know, with this... Uh, company called uh, Quill International, it's mm -hmm. aided by uh, the late Jimmy Lee. And uh, it says, hey, set up a band like the Jackson 5, mm. you know, and I put you on the big stage, you know. My brother went, oh, okay, pull up my <laughs> sister Irene and myself, mm -hmm. you know, since she knows that we can sing already, right? Mm -hmm. So we just rehearse all the repertoire of the Jackson 5. I see. You know, even our mm. clothing mm. were just like you the Jackson. You followed exactly. Exactly huh? the same. And my mom used to sew all our clothing for us. Oh, <laughs> yeah. so cool. So that's, that, that's how it all started. Like, yep. You know, followed the Jackson uh, 5 uh -huh. and everything like that. So mm. the media was very strong with supporting us back then. Mm -mm. I mean, although you all are close as a family, yeah. but do you have any sibling rivalry? 
Mm, no, no, not really. Although my sister is much more popular than I am, mm -hmm. you know, because she's a, a girl, right? So everybody knows Irene Francis, Irene Francis, but Stephen Francis comes in later because I'm the youngest in the family, so it comes in last, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then what about music-wise, you know? Do you all have really proper music training? Back then, you know, I, know you I mean, like music comes to us naturally, actually, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Yeah, because we born, my father was a musician as well, mm -hmm. although he, he was inspector for police, CID, but he was also a musician. So I think the family tree of musicians just was in our blood, you know, it was really naturally. At your young age at that time, you know, you were hardly like 12 or 13. Yeah, and you had to go yeah, to Japan, yeah. You, you know? were too young. I know. Yeah. Even when we were performing, we need special license to perform. Precisely. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, Tropicana was a topless restaurant, okay. right? <laughs> I don't know if you oh, remember that. Yeah, right? and you were underage. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. I was really underage. So every mm. time when the sh big show, when the show appears, we have, me and Irene got to get out of the Oh premises. no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you sometimes like pee oh, yes, and find out what's behind. <laughs> the peeping is definitely there. Mm. So I suppose it was really fun those days when you yeah, all were yeah, like, you was. Know, playing. Yeah. Mm. Cool, that's really cool. Yeah. Now, maybe what I want to find out from you is that, you know, uh, after some time, you know, after you have done your national service, you've done uh, so many gigs with so many well-known personalities, musicians and what have you, yeah. you suddenly hit on the idea of becoming a chef. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? I'd like to ask you. I mean, cooking has always been my passion. Okay. You know, and um, so when pandemic came about, you know, so decided to you know start a restaurant and food and everything. But good thing I had that extra second talent, you know, besides music, because otherwise I don't know what I will be doing today, right? Yeah. So, so the pandemic is the one that you know got me interested interested in cooking more. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. I already know how to cook because I uh, you know through my mom, learning how to cook and stuff like that, cooking at home. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but cooking for the public is a different thing altogether, oh. right? Hey, yeah. but I was told that when you were in the army, you had to double up as a cook. Yes, yes, I did. That was my BMT days. La. Okay. Yeah, BMT days, you know, after that went there. And after that, halfway through, I, I went to MDC, Music uh -huh. and Drama Company. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. But let's say, if you want to be a chef, you know, doesn't it take a lot of your time so that you do not have much time for your music? Now that I'm running my own store, mm -hmm. it's like a hawker store, a food court, in a food court mm. at Tampanese. Uh, yes, it's taking a lot of your time because uh, we have to start like 8, 9 o'clock in the morning mm. right up to the evening. It's like a whole day affair, at least. 10, 12 hours a day, you know. So, there's no time really for, for, for music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see. But, I mean, because the pandemic came about, so there's no music anyway, right? So, okay. you put your heart and soul into the cooking and the business. Now that, that, that the music is starting to come back, so I find it a little bit different to a, a little bit difficult to what you call it to what? yeah balance shuffle the balance two. my my, yeah. my two self yeah mm -hmm. yeah so actually that, what will come first music or cooking of course music is always in your blood you know, in my blood it's my first choice and cooking is secondary mm -hmm. yeah but I was thankful that you know that the past two years I got something to do you mm -hmm. know so. Okay, now, yeah. would you consider yourself as a good musician, which we all know, <laughs> but you will also consider yourself as a very good chef? Uh, I, I won't call myself a very good chef, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, you tasted, have you tasted, you tasted oh, yes, my I food, did. right? Yeah, I did. So I'm not going to tell the audience <laughs> right now because I want them to taste his cooking, okay? <laughs> now, can I ask you something? Yeah. 
I'm going to play a game with you. Is that fine with you? Game what? Mm. <laughs> Depends I, on what game you want to play. Shall I tell him? I'm going to make him, you know, play and at the same time do something in terms of food. What do you <laughs> You're think? You're going to be joking. <laughs> We're going to have the sandwich game. Hey, but to let you know, Stephen is going to play with one hand on the keyboard and at the other hand, he's going to make the sandwich. <laughs> and as for me, I've got two hands which are free. I can do anything that I like. Oh and my God, way, you put me on the spot. <laughs> Jesus. That's the fun of it. I've not done this before, but... Uh, you are my let's good try. friend. Let's, okay? try. let's try. And just to let you know, I've got my FM here with me, my floor manager, Hannah. Hannah will tell us when to start and when to stop, right? <laughs> and she's only giving us two minutes, two, two minutes. minutes to finish this game. Good luck. <laughs> All right, when you're ready. <coughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh. Hey. Hello, 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 don't take my break. Hey, this is my love. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, oh. okay, what, what? Okay, you help me with the thing, spread. What, what, what? Hey, me first la. Butter la. Hello, I one hand no. I got to play the other wait, side, wait, right? Wait, wait, I'm going to get my butter. This is mine. Okay, it's not easy la. Lama. <laughs> well, use your skill as a chef. Open, 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 and open, I'm open. sure, hey, nanti la. Wait. Lama. Hey, aren't you playing? Yeah, I am, I am. You see, I'm making special sandwich. I'm going to support you. <laughs> okay, that's fine. And I'm going to get my... You wash your hands and not. Wash your day, wash your day. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to have my tomatoes. I'm going to have my cucumber. Do you need any help? Do you need any help? Tomatoes, please. Tomatoes? Tomatoes. Oh, for me first. Tomato. And then you. Tomato. Alright, this is my sandwich. It's coming up I'm done. Oh, I think we need <laughs> someone to come and judge which one has got a better Stop sandwich. Me. Anyone from the studio? Any volunteers? Me, 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 me. Oh, good. Come on. All right, what's your name? Javis. Javis. All right, now look. This is my moi. Okay, you can you can touch it. This, is, this is mine. Double meat. If you're a meat lover, you'll love this. You won. Okay. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry. Never try it. <laughs> I won straight away. <laughs> That's not fair, right? Huh? I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> Javis. I'm sorry. I like double meat. <laughs> oh, do you try want us to have try, a, try. a try, try a try. bite, and see how really good it is compared <laughs> to mine? Try it, try it. Don't worry, it's clean. Nah, hello. You saw me wash my hands right after the toilet. <laughs> nice, right? Ah, so the, 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 the sesame dressing at the bottom with the butter. Ah, that's the way. That's now you try hers. Nah. Straight away, go toilet. <laughs> I'm very clean. I sanitize my hands. <laughs> mm. What's your verdict, my dear friend? For taste-wise, Belinda is the winner. Oh! Yeah. I'm yeah. the winner! We 
winner takes it all. Oh. Winner takes it all. It's unfair. Wow. It's unfair. It's unfair. What you know mean? why? I think it's very yes. You did it with two hands. Only me and one hand. But I'm mm. a lady. <coughs> You have to give more chance to a lady. Okay, la, okay, la. And plus, <laughs> you are a chef. Okay? But anyway, just to let you guys know that he is a very good chef. I can warrant that. You must taste the food that he cooks. He's the best chef in this part of Singapore. And that's in the eastern part of Singapore. Try it. His cha kway tiao is out of this world. <laughs> now, I must ask you, you know, Stephen, <coughs> yeah. when you were traveling all those years, uh, do you miss things like Chak Kui Tiao? Oh, yeah. When we travel to Europe and stuff like that, mm -hmm. we, we, we don't have, there's no rice. So we eat bread every day and pastas and, you know, whatnot. Oh, how So boring. we miss all this food, definitely. Mm. I tasted yeah. your Chak Kui Tiao, you know. Yeah, You've got a very it. special ingredient, you know. Mm. I really don't know what it is. I cannot place a finger in it, you know. <laughs> so, uh... Mm -hmm. Are you going to tell me now or you're not going to keep it? Mm. It's going to be a secret? No, I can't tell you. Oh, yeah. what a shame. Sorry. You can taste it though. Okay, <laughs> I'll come by again. Okay, and make it a good one for yeah, me this time. Surely, surely. You had the best time of your life yes. because you're one of the very rare musicians who works with our pop legend, one and only Anita Sarawak and the band called Swing Singapore. You Singapore are part Swing. of Singapore Swing. Oh, Singapore Swing, yeah. yeah Singapore Kabale. Swing. Now, what was it like? It, it was really a great honor. She's a fantastic entertainer. That's that's I've gotta take up my hat to her for mm -hmm. this. We travel everywhere and you know, the response from the crowd is like, everybody just loved her. Mm. You know, no matter where she goes, Asian country or Western country, mm -hmm. people just love her. Yes. She knows Aren't how we? to capture the crowd, mm. you know, which yeah. a lot of our singers don't have. I mean, I'm talking about Asia. Mm -hmm. Don't talk about America or right. anything. Mm. Yeah, in Asia, nobody has got that charisma to, to win mm. the, 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 the crowd. Mm. You know, just by performing. You are so That's the very strength Anita right. has. Yes, yeah. yes. So I, I've learned a lot from her. You know, when, 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 even when we, we're done with the show, she said, hey guys, come on to the room and let's, uh, you know, have a chit chat and makan mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. whatever with the husband mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You know, mm -hmm. it's always a fun thing. And mm -hmm. she's a joker. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's a real joker. You see, you do have musicians who really have a heart. Just like my friend, <laughs> Stephen Francis, mm. you know. Yeah, <laughs> and he's one guy I can tell you, you know, he really will teach you anything that you like to know. I'm going to learn frying cha kway tiao from him <laughs> and I'm going to learn mastering the keyboard because I'm not an expert at that, <laughs> okay? So Stephen, yep. you are my friend, Thank you. okay? And I hear that you are preparing for a new album. Yes, yes, it's taking okay. a little time because you've got to yeah. write some Mm. Uh, own materials and stuff okay. like that. Yeah. Okay, but never mind. Yeah. Yeah. We will wait for the album. Yeah, but I can't for wait for a song from you right now All right. because Cheers. everyone here in the studio and you people out there, I'm sure you'll be waiting for a song from my good friend Stephen Francis. <laughs> Fly me to the moon 
Enjoyed it, Thank and I'm you. sure you people out there enjoy it too. Thank well, you. don't forget then to join me again next week when I come back with another program of When We, we Were, were young. young. So, <laughs> on behalf of my very good friend here, Stephen Francis, say hello and goodbye. Hello, goodbye, folks. Thank you very much. See you next week. Goodbye. Make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. You know, I can't sing, but I think I've tried my best. <laughs>